script. <laughs> You're gonna show me a, show us a trick, a card trick. Yeah, Are you trying to, I'm trying re- to get in trouble re- with rekindle. The <laughs> I didn't get in trouble with them I'm guys. You b- banned in Birmingham again. <laughs> Did we start by the way? Yeah. You don't have any intro or nothing. This is the welcome. Intro. This is Salma, Doctor Salma, <coughs> coming soon <laughs> to a podcast near you. Uh, where should I look? Check Kamal and Maki. You look at me. You want you want to make a good point though. Come on, have some mercy, man. If you, you <laughs> isn't, this an, isn't this an hour long? Hadouken. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. If you want to make a good point, mm-hmm. you can look at the camera. Uh huh. Come in close, mm-hmm. and maybe give it a wink. So if I w- make a good point, look at the camera. No, if you if don't make it too mu- too too frequent. Yeah. No, but what, like what I'm trying to get at is basically you never look at the camera. I, I can because everything I say is a good point. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I can show you a trick. Okay, show me. I want to see a your magic trick. trick? First. Yeah. Okay, just pick a card, a strong card. Okay, done. No, say it. Seven of. That's uh, not a strong card, man. But like you a, didn't a, hear a the rest high of it. Powerful cards. It doesn't matter. It's okay. of what? It's a seven. Uh, is it? Has the trick started yet? I think you're trying to get into my head. No, just pick. You're a doing something. You're like, pick a strong card. <laughs> Ace of Spades. <laughs> Ace of Spades. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, that's it. Ace of Spades. Yeah. That is a strong card. Yeah. Um, open the deck slowly. Is this slow enough? Take out the whole. Take the whole deck out. <gasps> Just kidding. No, no. no there's f- one left. No, there's no one left. Just there's fan two it. left in there. Okay, fan it, whatever. Just fan it. No, the other way. And one card will be facing up. <laughs> these these cards don't lend themselves to fanning. Well, if you properly. just fanned it, you could see all the one card is facing up. Tell everybody what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize how lame that trick yeah. was? Like that's not even a trick. I just I, I just put the ace of <laughs> I know you. I know you are. You are doing your Darren Brown stuff on me. I know you're a big fan of him. Where is it gone? I can't fan these. My hands are too. That's the other trick. Sweaty it because I'm nervous. Now. now I made it disappear. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's because you said no to my first uh, <laughs> guess. No, it's just that I figured if you tell someone pick a strong card or Ace of Spades, right? Because of the song. Well, because there's a game where the Ace of Spades is the strongest of all the cards, oh, okay. right? So I just put that one face up. There's all another right. one where when you do it with a, a, a sister, most likely she'll choose a, the queen of hearts. So just have that one ready, you know. Like your wife, mm. of course, and stuff. Don't walk around Obviously, the street. Yeah. Hey, sister, <laughs> pick a card. <laughs> Any card. <Hey> superstar. <laughs> Anyways. All right. What are you trying to do? Pick a card and show the cameraman. So the people okay. at home don't show me. Yeah. Okay. Now and now, next episode you will know what card it was. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Okay. So can you show? Can you take camera again? I didn't really get that. Huh? I didn't get that idea. No, nope, I didn't hold it long enough. This one. Yeah. Yes, to zoom in and focus and all that kind of stuff. This is it's not part of the trick. Okay, I'm going to look through it. One second. <laughs> this was your card. Correct. If I hold it, drop it sideways. Hmm. Want to do it again? You know when we got here, mm-hmm. the electronic stuff started uh, playing up. Is that right? Yeah, this whole thing started acting like there was some kind of possessed by Wh- something. When I got here. No, when no, I when got we got here in oh, Turkey. Oh, oh, okay, see, I thought you meant that. So it was Ajib. I thought it was some not you, it's not like you got some aura around you. I anything. thought it was some Birmingham joke, you know, that when I showed up here. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky things that <laughs> happened. Okay, let me tell you why <coughs> Why I actually love magic. And, uh, and of course, 
when we say magic in modern English, we mean sleight of hand. We still have some people who are confused between the two. Okay? It's now not, you're saying it's not sihr. Yeah, it's not sihr, that black magic or sorcery, you know. And of course I've got my joke about you can't go to a black magician, not a <laughs> not not a black, black magic. magician. So um and there's a documentary on uh on magic which I really, really enjoyed. But it was it's it's hosted by this guy. He did a great job, I don't like him, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? Mm-hmm. But it's excellent because the whole thing is what I like about magic, it's number one, there's a lot of psychology involved. You know, there's it's a, it's the brain, okay? Mm. Misdirection, that's psychology. Like I'm talking to you about something while my hands are doing something else. I'm mis- I'm taking your focus, your attention away. Mm. The magician is steps ahead of the audience and he's outsmarting the audience and, and it's clever, okay? So people said, Chris Angel, he does, he does gin, and he does, if he saw a gin, he would he'd run all the way to China. He doesn't know what a gin is. <laughs> he doesn't so know for sure, though. Maybe uh, he's listen, just, man. Maybe just pretending to be sure. rubbish. Okay, let me tell you about <laughs> his story. He, he's been doing magic since he was a small child. You can see old yeah. photos of him doing magic. And when he got the TV show, he said, I used every trick I knew my entire life and, and used it in season one. Mm. And then the, com- the network came and said, Give us another two seasons. And you know what he said? He said, I just used my entire life for one season. Mm. Where am I going to get material for a second season? So he did what anyone would do in this case. They brought writers and they invented and came up with tricks. That's all it is. He did not go to... you are one of those writers. (laughs) He didn't go to Chad or Morocco and and get a a guy who knows (laughs) sorcery and stuff. They just sat down and started coming up with tricks. Why is it always Morocco that's the butt of these jokes? Oh, they're, they're, come on now. They're, <laughs> you know, they're known. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black magic, you go to Chad, you go to Morocco, yeah. you go to Sudan, you get hooked up proper. Yeah, you're from Sudan, right? Yes, sir. Back in the day. Yeah, but I keep it real. <laughs> I don't blindly defend, you know. If something's wrong, it's wrong. So, they wrote it, and, and that's why... What about the, the, like the story of Musa and Fir'aun, the magicians? They were, like, making sticks... Yeah. Move and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is that the kind of sihr that, I mean, it was referred to as sihr, right? Yeah. And there were some scholars who thought that they were just using um, misdirection or, or like they had invisible tricks. string yeah. and they were using moving the rope with the invisible string. First of all, there are a number of issues. And I know it's an opinion. Mm. Okay. But number one, the, the, the scholars say if you look at all the prophets have specific descriptions, like one of them is that they're intelligent. Mm. Okay. Um, and there's so many other ones that make sense, you know, like they don't have anything that turns you off when you first look at them. Like no prophet had like, you know, one te- <laughs> eyes looking different directions and busted up teeth. And so when yeah. you saw him, you were first turned off or anything. And that's why just from that, you can already w- question narrations, which I- eventually turn up to be weak. Like Ayyub salam was afflicted with these worms that would be eating his flesh. And then one day, it's a weak narration one more time. One of these worms fell off of him. And then <laughs> whoever made up the narration is trying to show the taqwa. Then he picked it up. It's, I hate <laughs> stuff like this. He picked up the worm and he said, Ila ain, where are you going? <laughs> Faqad katab Allahu. Allah has written rizq for you right here. And That's he put gross. it back on his kid. Come on now. Okay. So the prophets were smart. And to tell me Musa alayhi salam, and Musa alayhi salam, he got so scared from what the sorcerers did that Allah had to tell him, don't be scared, be firm. Mm-hmm. And that was just them throwing big ropes on the ground, but with invisible thin string. They were just pulling on it, and he couldn't see their hands moving. He couldn't see that they were just... So what were they doing? So they were using powerful sorcery, black mm. magic. And that's why in one verse, يَأْتُوكَ بِكُلِّ سَاحِرٍ alim, Each like knowledgeable sorcerer. Mm. And then in another verse, يَأْتُوكَ بِكُلِّ سَحَارٍ alim. What's the difference between sahir and sahar? Sahar... Yani, tamada fi sihr. He went to another level in his in his sorcery. Powerful, mm. you know. They brought some of the, the I don't know, the big guns, right? Yeah. So you telling me Musa Al-Salam just became scared of of I- illusion? No, they brought serious black magic, and that's why what he did completely, for lack of a better term, outperformed them and mm. made them believers instantly. Yeah, because that story, you know, has a, a, a so mu- so many um, lessons because you know. Because they were, if if they were in, uh, you know, um, really 
experts of 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 sorcery and stuff they you know, see to to an onlooker who's mm-hmm. not an expert in that what Musa alayhi salam did might look similar to the same kind of um scale or same kind of um uh, similar thing to what they're doing but the fact that they being the experts in magic they're the ones who said this isn't magic we know magic this isn't exactly. it exactly and they became uh, believers at at threat and pain and risk of death to themselves that became a hujja on everyone else even though they were not experts in magic absolutely so that's kind of like a, an epistemological point that similar to how you don't have to know arabic to know the quran is miraculous for example because Very those good. who were the most capable of refuting Very it Very good uh, uh, refu- you should have looked at the camera that was a smart point where is he <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah anyway so 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 any the, so the 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 moral of your story is is a rabbit out of your hat isn't say had yeah sleight of hand is sleight yeah. of hand like for example some card tricks I, i've got this one card trick it's a really nice trick it's one of my favorites and it's one of the, like really blows people away but it's completely a mathematical trick it's completely math and there's very little misdirection in it you know i could not it's talk and do it math Ma- oh maths yeah thank you yes i forgot the unnecessary s there <laughs> so it's a completely a it's math short for mathematics trick. yes so so it could still be so math and short really for mathematics anyways the point i'm not going to do the trick but the point is that it's completely yeah. a maths trick so now if you tell me oh well well that's haram then okay then so then the math is haram <laughs> math is haram you know there's so many uh, high school students saying alhamdulillah i've got a fatwa now <laughs> oh well look <laughs> mom so dad look he said math is haram and after <laughs> all right how let about me, this argument let me continue my drama gcse <laughs> How about this uh, f- uh, qu- question? Well, it's still a trick. You're tricking me. Yeah, it's true. You are. Oh. What's the if you know you're tricked. Yeah, thank you. You're asking to be tricked. Like if I tell you a joke, will you say, you know, <laughs> that's not true. So you're lying essentially. <laughs> like what's the matter with you? Didn't I just say, hey, here's a joke? Yeah. It's a lie if I'm presenting you a fictional story as if it's true. But if I tell you, here's a joke, you already know it's not true. Yeah. You know? Okay, hey, 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 do you want to do another one? You? You said no. You you said you had a trick. I have a lot of tricks. You know the one you did before we started. Like we could spend recording. the whole hour of of just yeah. tricks. Fadal. <laughs> some are some are real good. By okay. the way, do people know where we are even? Yeah. Yeah. Go and pick a card. This beautiful place is, is London, right? Show the camera. Don't sh- camera come over here. So obviously you can't accuse me of. Of course. Of course. Ready. Put it in here now. Put it where? The other way. In here. Put it face up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your card was. Bam. The seven of clubs. Good job. Good job. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I don't have Hadouken. No, I don't have any like way. Need to add those later. Do you know how I did it? Amazement. Do you, want, do you know how I did it? Uh, no, actually. You want to know how I did it, don't you? I'm not going to tell you, huh? <laughs> no, you know why? Because there was no no there was no pizzazz in it. I know I'm not like really I've got one. Okay. Thanks because of the headphones. Mm. Normally I can do some pizzazz, but this is this wire here. Yeah. So the okay. wire and the personality. <laughs> the p- look, the I've got one for example where you pick a card, all right, yeah. and then suddenly we can't find it in the deck, and I'm wearing my shoes and I never touch them the whole time. <laughs> and I take my shoes off and your cards inside the shoe. It's dissolved. You see the difference? Yeah. You see the difference? It's so true. you can do that same trick, but add some kind of like confusion. You know where is it? Yeah. Blah blah blah. And you know, you know what a double lift is. Yeah, yeah. double lift. So, so you like pick two up at once. Yeah. So like I, I pick this card up, but it looks like one, but it's actually two. Yeah, I knew it was two. So though. I told you, yeah. So I told you, it's not. Are you sure it's not this one? Okay, then put it in your hand. Hold it. Just hold it like that. And then we keep looking for it again. And <laughs> are you sure it's not the one in your hand? Then when you turn, it's like oh. He's a showman, isn't yeah, it? Like awesome. that. All right, you do one. No. <laughs> Do you want so we can send it to Birmingham? Here's the thing. I don't care about Birmingham, all right? 
about that crowd in Ooh. Birmingham. No, no, not the city. I said about that crowd in the city because okay. in the end, like, what? Like, I'm not going to be like in bed, like, oh yeah. my lord, the people in Birmingham don't accept me. Like, Whatever what? shall I do? Whatever. Uh, if anyone's, we should have said this before, but a few years ago, Sheikh Mal Maki got in trouble. In I did not get in trouble Predominantly in Birmingham By getting refuted by so many people He's obviously not bitter about it No it's like, <laughs> I didn't get in trouble <laughs> See like If I got in trouble with them That means they have yeah. some kind of authority And they have some kind of That's true. Weight in my life I'm like whatever There were many YouTube videos And this was back when Not many people had a YouTube account mm. So that it took some dedication to record and upload yeah, a like video Like two videos And uh, two PDFs pe PDFs pe as well Someone living in a moldy basement <laughs> <laughs> whose life revolves around what I do. I'm like, okay, <laughs> keep keep it up. <laughs> Your biggest fan. You know why I never responded to that whole thing? Why? Because I can't I can't compete. Like I can only give half an hour to this issue and I'm competing against someone who can give thirty days to it and just live and breathe. And <laughs> and these people get energy from that stuff. Yeah. Like, like they wake up in the morning, is like anything bad happen? <laughs> anything I can latch on to? Nothing? Then they go into depression. Yeah. Then when something happens it's like Eid for thirty days. You know, and they're like, yeah. and did you see what he did? The stuff, and then they start lying. <laughs> and there were some lies to make it look like I approve yeah. of sorcery, black man. Oh, come on, man. So, so what like, he did, was, what he did, I didn't even mention it. What he did was he did a, a, a Maghrib promotional video for a Dawah training course where he did some kind of magic tricks. And uh, yeah. And the oh, funny part is, went crazy. I was doing the tricks to say, you know, it's not magic, that, it's, that there's something behind it. And some yeah. of them I showed how it was done. So, like, the whole point is saying seeing isn't believing. Like you yeah, saw that was an important point, and they completely mm. lost that. Yeah. And Does then that work, though, when you, when you talk to people on, in, in the Dawa and on a Dawa table or something like that? What? Yeah, of what course it works. It works like, uh, like magic. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, here's you the can thing. Look at the camera for that one and give it a wink. <laughs> um, You've earned it. By my standards, that's simple. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you something. W one of the things I like about that group is that when they put that video against uh, out, out against that promo with the magic thing, it made it go viral. <laughs> no, my my favorite part is for some reason they couldn't find the video again, so they thought Al Maghrib removed the video, and then they suddenly found it again. The Maghrib never removed it; it never went anywhere. Then then they went back again and found it again. They're like Al Maghrib. Brought back the video. I'm like, you guys think you're that influential <laughs> that someone <laughs> removed the video because you're in your mother's yeah. basement and you said, uh, <laughs> we don't like this video. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Those no-name unknown people don't like this video. We need to instantly remove it. So we removed mm. it and then we decided to put it back on. <laughs> Please, for God's sake. <laughs> but that would mean it was, an, it was a powerful point. You know, I remember a, a statement... I heard uh, it was attributed to Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, Yaman, and he said, uh, "The uh, I think it's Akhwa Fushay Akhafuhu li al-Ummat al-Muhammad, the Ummat al-Muhammadin, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and yuthiru ma yarauna ma ala ma yalamun." The thing I fear most for this Ummah is that they give precedence to what they see over what they know. <laughs> I thought that was a powerful statement, man. It is a powerful statement. In terms of... Um, like most of the stuff they... Um, or, or or anyone would bring up on the issue, they'll relate to stories where someone used sorcery, mm -hmm. like yeah. actual black magic. Someone mentioned uh, during the reign of Uthman, a sorcerer came and he did these fantastical things. And, okay, but he's using jinn. It's clearly, I don't know, the sahir is a yeah. kafir. The sahir mm -hmm. is a kafir. It's not like... So then when you try to, to make it look like a believer approves of this of yeah. sorcery, so then you're just a liar. <laughs> and so why do I have to... <laughs> you're claiming the higher ground and you're yeah. lying. Yeah. So I'm supposed to like re respond to you. Talk, hey, just tell, let's stop lying. Yeah. That's my advice. Just stop and kid it. So obviously not cut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to... <laughs> but no, but I'm talking about the point that you were making in the vi video, yeah? Yeah, about seeing is not, not believing. Ah, so oh, oh, I see what you're there's saying. something you that you know to be true that you can deduce from other factors, but um, you know something that you you see or you can say that you have from limited observations, you give precedence to that. 
over something you know to be true from even stronger kind of um, arguments or uh, deductions and that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, now I understand yeah, what yeah. you're saying, which is so wrong, right? Yeah. And and then my point was that you know you can see something with your own eyes, but because this is stronger, yeah. it takes precedence. You say no, like, and that's why in in my dawa co- uh, course. In the notes, there are some optical illusions. You know the one where you have these white lines across black lines, yeah. then you see gray in the middle? Like, does everybody see gray? Yes. Mm. Now, you see it with your own eyes, yes? Yes. Is it there? No. So now you're using this. Even though you saw something, you still don't believe it. Mm. And um, and that's why this is stronger. That's why the, the kuffar during times of different prophets saw things with their own eyes and still refused to believe it. Because up here, yeah. they weren't ready. They weren't, they didn't, they weren't accepting and when they asked for the miracle from the prophet, they weren't asking, whichever prophet, mm. they weren't asking to say, I just, I really want to be- believe you're real, do something amazing. They're just trying to stump him. Yeah, they're challenging him. Challenging yeah. him. Subhanallah. Anyway. If you like this podcast, give it a like and a share. And uh, if you didn't, then you're racist. Um, if you want, also uh, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, uh, iTunes, Spotify. What if you're racist Play. and you subscribe? And you subscribe, Fadal. That's a dedicated Excellent. racist. Yeah, I yeah, watch you yeah. every week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Zakla khair for watching. Uh, uh,